welcome back to our Friday the 13th Late Show. Now, see, this is, this is one of those appropriate guests for a show like that. We have one of the stars of the TV series, Friday the 13th, with us tonight. So say hello to Roby. I'm really happy to meet you. I, yeah. I, I, but I have to ask you, why, why just Roby? Why just Roby? Why just Roby? Because I had a rock band in New York where I wrote the music and I was the front person. Uh -huh. So I just decided to use my name. And so that, and that's your, that's your name? Yeah. Is it short for anything? Is there a Roberta? It's, Is there it's, a... Okay, all right. It's okay. my last name. Oh, it's your last yeah. name. Yeah. Okay, well, it's, it's very unique. It's a bit like Cher yeah. or, or, and I know that Tina Turner wants to go by Tina. But oh, she? Well, that's, that's what I heard, but she should stay with Tina Turner, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. She's yeah. known like that. Okay, well, Roby, okay. Yeah. And now you mentioned you, you have a rock band. We know you as the actress or the actor mm -hmm. in the television series, but now I'm told that, that you were in Paris with a band for a while. Yeah, and well... You were a wild thing in those days. <laughs> Excuse me, what? Well, is that, isn't that right? <laughs> isn't that kind of right? Well, I had a band, a new wave band called Louise and the Creeps a few years back. That's Louise right. and the Creeps, Yeah. Okay. And um, I also sang in the subways for a while. I guess that's maybe what you're referring to. You where, sang in the subways? Well, yeah, that's where the acoustics are incredible. Places like Odeon, where the, cha where the trains stop and you change over, and you have this big square space where everything, it's reverb. Okay. So you really learn about your voice that way. It's incredible. And it's not dangerous down there to be singing in the, in the subway? Um, not really, during the daytime. Hmm. Hmm. I guess not. And you just got back from Jamaica. We did we interrupt your vacation? Yeah, in, man. In ja uh, yeah. <laughs> you liked it. It was huh? cool, man. Cool runnings. Yeah. Uh, cool running. Yeah, this woman cooled out. <laughs> really? See, now, now you look like you look. You're what? You know, this happens to me when I get back from vacation. I'm just like this. Just you just right. you just don't feel like getting back to work. Is that how you feel? Well, sort of. Except that I love to work. Mm -hmm. I love to work. So to come back, it's almost like a fantasy. Mm. How did you get into this, yeah. this Friday the 13th? These are, these are movies that people get hurt. Well, it's not like the movies. This is a wonderful little show. It's really great TV. Everybody should watch it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> really. So you're jazzed about this. All right. Mm -hmm. Frank Mancuso Jr., you yeah. know, he created this show that is really a super different little TV show. All I did was I auditioned for it, mm -hmm. you know. Did you scream in the audition? Did you? Um, uh... No, no, I just acted. I took a few chances, mm -hmm. probably undisciplined chances that worked, and it was great. Well, like, well, like what? What, did you, what were some of the chances you took? Well, I remember at one point that I, that I, I was supposed to be making a phone call, and I dropped to my knees and I started dialing, and I said, uh, Mrs. Such and Such, are you in? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, listen, we think one of these objects was cursed. Uh, now you've done, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and everybody's just sitting around, and I really got to their eye level. So they, they, I probably shouldn't be saying this, but I, I just felt as though it was the thing to do at the time. And yeah. I took a chance, and maybe it was that. I really don't know. <laughs> I mean, I just feel lucky. Did you think that you would be doing this? Now, I read uh, that you were an army brat of sorts. Oh, yeah. And then when you're when you're traveling around the naval bases, was it naval or was it army bases? Um, well, actually, well, Air Force. Air Force. Yeah. Okay. When you're in the Air Force, did you think that I'm going to be an actress someday? I'm going to be. No, uh, I I think I was out there in the ether. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what. Where I was the thinking. jet fuel ether yeah. got to you, and you got. To... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was something like that. I just I was just traveling around a lot with my uh, family and. Probably, uh, I was just, uh, you know, it's a free-spirited existence in some ways because you change schools all the time, you change friends. Mm -hmm. um, Were you around Top Gun pilots or anything like that? Yeah, how did you know? Well, no, I just, you said Air Force, so I'm assuming that everything is romantic yeah. and there's Top Gun pilots and, and machine yeah, guns. Yeah, and... yeah, as a matter of fact, I got my first rose when I was five years old from a wonderful pilot called Alex. Mm. Yeah who, um, we weren't allowed into the mess, all little girls and boys were into the officer's mess, that is, Oh, you know? I see, I see. We were all supposed to play outside, and he brought me in, and I was crying and all, and he plucked a rose off Oh, the oh, this is just, this is just, this, oh, that's so sickeningly romantic, isn't it? I'm a Pisces. But, yeah, one of these guys, so guys in uniform do it for you? Do they, do you like, um, <laughs> do, you, do you like to go for that? <laughs> well, it depends. <laughs> Well, I'm not, I'm not talking about I'm some the mind, Noriega but. or anything. I'm just talking about uh, <laughs> some guy that, uh, that some guy in a pilot's uniform. Well, it could happen. Could happen. Did you, did you really go out with Roman Polanski? 
<laughs> I, I, somebody told me that, and I, and I swore I would ask you. Oh, uh, you did, didn't yes, you? Yes, yes, because I, I read that you, or somebody told me that you went out with Roman Polanski and also some, like, heads of state that you've gone out with uh, prime ministers and things. Oh, my goodness. Well, actually, yeah, they're friends of mine. <laughs> they're friends of you. See, I have no friends who are prime ministers. That's why you I... Know? No, no. <laughs> yeah, you know, it was back, um, let's see, in Paris in those days, uh -huh. you know, when you're out and you're footloose and fancy free. And But I was never trying to get an acting job. That's never. fine with me. That's, no, that's fine with me. <laughs> and that makes all the difference, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, from Friday the 13th is Roby. Thanks for being here. All right. All right. It's a lucky day, isn't it? It's a very lucky day. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back.